at least one hymn composed by Charles Wesley. Charles Wesley and John Wesley underwent a conversion experience in the year 1738, more or less within a few days of each other. John Wesley went on to become the great evangelist, traveling tens of thousands of miles around these islands, coming over here to Ireland on several occasions, and is the founder of Methodism. Charles Wesley accompanied him on many of his journeys, and he was the great hymn writer, writing over six and a half thousand hymns. And the one that we're about to sing is one of his greatest. Different stories have been propounded for the inspiration that lies behind this hymn. Some people say that Charles Wesley was returning from America after a fairly unsuccessful time there. The ship got caught in a storm. And when the storm was at its worst, a small bird flew into his cabin and nestled upon his breast. Another story is told about how he was preaching in Killeley in County Down, and a large crowd of people came out to move him on. And he took refuge beside a stream, and it was the flow of water that inspired the hymn. It's a very personal hymn. Indeed, John Wesley, his brother, wasn't all that happy about it. He said that Jesus shouldn't be described as the lover of my soul. And the hymn wasn't actually published until after his death. But I always loved those lines. Thou, O Christ, art all I want, more than all in thee I find. And so we stand and join together in the hymn, Jesus, Lover of My Soul. During this hymn, a collection will be taken up for the Church Restoration Fund.
harmony. We praise you for the gift of music, for the inspiration given to those who compose it, for the skill and devotion of those who perform it, for the faculties and powers which enable us to enjoy it. And we pray that you will sanctify and accept the music we have rendered in this church tonight and make it an offering of praise to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> At this evening hour, O Lord our God, we remember with thankful hearts your care and protection and all the blessings we have received in this day that is past. In your mercy, forgive us any wrong we have done, any evil thought we have harbored, any unkind word we have spoken. Have in your safekeeping this night those whom we love. Comfort and relieve the sick, the suffering and the sorrowful. <coughs> and grant to us all the benediction of your peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so we join together in the prayer that unites us all as Christians and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Jesus, Saviour and King, we have honoured you with our lips. Help us also to offer you our lives that through you, through us, your light may shine. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, rest upon you and all whom you love, this night and forevermore. Amen. Before we move to our closing hymn, I'd just like to say again a very warm thank you to the members of the Turbot Community Choir. It has been an honour to have you with us. Thank you very much indeed. A big thank you to Violet. Thank you very much. And to John and Sophie on the organ. Thank you very much indeed. I'd like to thank Tanya for bringing them all together and the Dean for conducting. Thank you very much indeed. And I'd like to thank each one of you for being here with us tonight. We we'll hope you're going to stay exactly where you are in your seats and members of the parish will provide you with refreshments. And I'd like to say a very big thank you to them for all the work that they have put in to this evening. <coughs> Our closing hymn is one of the most <coughs> modern hymns that we're singing. It's uh, a beautiful hymn, I think, written by Bernadette Farrell who is a popular contemporary hymn writer from Yorkshire. She also wrote the hymn, Oh God, You Search Me and You Know Me. This is a particularly beautiful hymn, offering us hope and justice and peace to a world that is longing for life. Each verse follows a similar passion. It begins with what many people long for but are lacking basic human rights. And then it turns to us and to our commitment to share what we have and to respond to these people's needs. It's a hymn that is often sung at Advent because it reminds us of Christ coming into the world as the light of the world. And it reminds each one of us of what we are called to be. We have received the light of Christ and we are to be people through whom that light shines out to the world. So we stand and sing together our final hymn, Christ Be Our Light. Thank you. 